What would you do without Jesse? Usually you can grab it like that, but uh. You don't give a f about this one, right? Well, I kind of like to keep it in shape. Because I like to get it rebuilt. Because if you, well, you're telling me you're not wrong with it, but I don't want to destroy the f thing. Because I'll take it to Henry and get it fixed. Okay. Um. Because you can hold it like this and whack it. With what? Your hands. You hold it like a whole wagon. Well, I used a puller. What the f is the hand going to be any different? <laughs> I got pullers, but you said it's going to break. No, I, I already broke it. I see that. Fucked up good. No shit. So how do you figure if you put something in here and whack it, it's just like a puller? No, it's not. It's not the same. I put two, the same. put two bars in there, like you said, and we'll see what happens. No, just hold it with your hand. So that's you that's what I'm saying. You're going to hold it with your hand? Yeah. It's the only way to do it. You hold it like this? Oh, uh, you hold it with your hand. I'm going to smack it. <laughs> no, I can put the nut back on. Okay, you hold it with your hands, and I'll whack it. You hold it with your hands, he said. Now, James, you catch you the alternator. You whack my f***ing hand. Who's catching the alternator? Jamie. Nobody. Jimmy. No, no, don't know. break the studs off the back. I'll keep it neck up. It's working, though, ain't it? No, it ain't working. No. No, I just destroyed the nut. <laughs> no, you're going to break it. How about we get a pry bar? <laughs> what do you want to do with a pry bar? Yo, he's the only language. Put the beeps in there. <laughs> <laughs> Get another pry bar on the other side. So wait, you did make progress. I told you, look, cockeye when I was doing what I like when you were hitting it. See, Jesse, man, what would you do without Jesse? I don't know. What's up? I could have did this at home. Why didn't you? Because you said, oh, I do it a certain way. Yeah, and I ain't got a voice. I ain't got a whatever bite. works. Man, you see him put his mitts on that and turn that? <laughs> <laughs> Call him Leather Glove. <laughs> oh, a couple more hits. Now, will the nut drive it back on, or you got to whack it on? No, no, drive it on. <laughs> What's the matter, Jess? <laughs> Was it a keyway? Yeah. What the fuck's wrong with tape? Uh -huh. Where'd you get this one? It was taped to the old one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Missing a push again, Aaron. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. And I have two free hands today, and I'm not used to it, so I should be like Ricky Bobby and just like, I don't know what to do with my hands. You know, that's what they say. But yeah, so we got a cameraman, which is awesome. As you guys just saw, we were trying to get that pulley off the alternator for the old cab over here. And I'm pretty pretty excited. We have like a, a unexpected guest at the house today, which is pretty pretty new. But we got Jimmy the Atlas. You guys know Jimmy from all the old videos, and if you don't, you better watch him and catch up. Take a walk, James. We got, we got cameraman. It's my cousin behind the, behind the camera. It's pretty cool. I'm excited for this day. So we got the old man here. He's putting Loctite on his bolts. He's getting the alternator on. And it's not the alternator was charging, but it was also drawing. 
at least we think it was drawing. Something was killing these batteries, and we're trying to figure out what it is. So we did some testing with voltages and a power probe and all that, and we think we know the problem, and we think it was the alternator. So we changed it, and now we're going to test that theory. So hopefully we're right, and hopefully it was the alternator. And if not, then we have a short in the truck somewhere, so we'll figure that out. So once we're, you know, ready to rock, maybe we might be taking this thing for a ride, and then that's where the fun begins. So we'll get back to you guys in a bit after we get this bolt on here and see what goes down. And, yeah, let's see what happens. Good? I was so I can't turn it. All right. Now, Jimmy, that brought it back straight. Nah, not really. I don't know, Joe. I'm not liking this, the, the way to, I don't know. I don't know if it's different pull, the way the pulley's on there. A different shaft. You didn't put on a backup, did you? What, the, the pulley? Yeah. No. They look pretty straight from here. Come up here and look. But where's it's, the, uh... I don't think I can fit this that way. You got it tight in the way you want it? Yeah, it's all tight. Let me see how tight that stuff looks. Whew. Ouch. <laughs> Sorry. Did he look crooked? Yeah. I think it looks fine. You look alright? Yeah, like it's it looks crooked to the to the air compressor one. I kind of I could see that. Maybe that's throwing you off. But no, these are I think it's alright. It looks alright? Yeah. I think just from here that looks straighter than it was. Straight yeah, because I watched it when I tightened it up, it kinda actually brought yeah, it back. Yeah, it picked the front up and it sucked it back in. Yeah. Now what do you got going on in the back? It's just a hot in the ground? It's just a hot you got two grounds it looks like. Oh. See it? I, you took it apart. Yeah, this goes here. And then we were getting power at that one, the little thing. Yeah, so go grab the power probe. All right, I think it's in here. What's that? It's one of the greatest things I've ever been. Oh, I just tangled it. Definitely. Definitely. Powers? So hold on, so you, you ain't got nothing going on, right? No, I ain't got nothing hooked up. The batteries ain't hooked up. As a, uh, never mind. What? Nothing. You said it. The batteries ain't hooked up. No, there's no batteries. So, do you want to hook the, oh, man. What? 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 I took the caps. What, the nuts? The nuts. I used them on the arm. Okay, so you can take them with the arm. I'll put them in. What are they, half inch or 916s? Or 916s, I think. Yeah. Ain't no thing but you can win. So, my, my dad ended up cleaning up a little faster than I thought. But basically, what we have going on is, if you look at the back of the alternator, there is a small stud with a little red uh, little thing here, right? And that shouldn't be hot until you turn the key on, from it's our understanding. Right. And what we had happening was it was hot all the time. And we had batteries dying after about 30 hours, maybe 35 hours, like day and a half or so, it would shut off. Not even. So now we changed the battery. We have no juice there. So we're proving that so far our theory is correct. So I'm gonna jump up in there, turn the key on, and we don't remember if it's a neutral, we think it is, but he had a good thought, leave the throttle stop out, crack the starter, just make sure it's in neutral. And then we're gonna try to fire it up, make sure that it has the power it should have and it's working. And then, like I said, we think we proved our theory. We'll just have to let it sit a couple days and see if it fires back up in two days, because usually it would not. So we think the alternator solved our problem. And it's a shame, because the old alternator charged. It just, yeah. it just drained, so. So yeah, let me get up in here, it's gonna be a climb. Oh, you broke your CB cable. Oh. See it? Oh, it's on thread. I'm gonna put it back in. Oh, that door's heavy like that. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Yeah, hey, my arm already hurts holding uh, Just turn the key on for now. Right. Uh, man, can you imagine driving like this? Turn the key on. I'm working on it. Key on. Nah, nothing. You got nothing there. So, unfortunately, battery died, but we fired it up, gave it a little juice, and we have what we're looking for there. Shut the key off. We have nothing there. So, like I said, in theory, this is working. We're good. So, I think we're going to drop the cab down. I know he never sees where the shifter goes in. and he Did you never see where the cab sits in the cab mount? No. I know you don't, I guess. So, I'm wrong. I'm still learning the cab over stuff. But, yeah, so he never sees that. So, I think we could drop this thing down and... I don't know if we're going to start playing with something else on this deal or we're going to take it for a hot lap or what. I don't know. 
We'll figure that out. Get back to you in a bit. You driven some nights, right, Jim? Or no? That's fine. An, R D. an RD. Okay. An 8LL. And okay. that was around the yard. Right. So no, you don't really, uh... There's a big difference. Like an 8LL, they're real stiff like. Yeah. These are like loosey-goosey kind of... You'll feel it. It'll be fine. You'll get it. I try to let it come down real slowly because it's this point. Alright guys, so we kind of got caught up and did 100 million other things as usual. But, this thing's ready to hit the road. So what we're going to do is get it fired up, build some air pressure so the battery covers can go back on. We're going to take this thing for a little cruise and just kind of let you guys enjoy you know, a little run in the cab over, some shifting and some enjoyment and stuff from there. And then we'll go from there because as we get into that, I have a surprise for the next video. So let's get this thing on the road and let's do some driving. Alrighty guys, so we're on the road. I'm going to give this a shot, try to show these guys. This truck always gets me. It takes me a couple tries to get used to it. Luckily, I just drove down the block, so let's go for that. Come on, give it a time. <laughs> she rolls it. I don't even know. Yeah. I don't know how well I could dance with this thing. It's pretty good. Cool. Yeah. You'll see a red, red light somewhere flashing. I don't know if you're recording or not. It wasn't cool. Definitely important to say what's left. charging I'm a little under 14 volts so that's good stuff this thing hasn't been out since we changed the tire from the blowout that it had so it's been a solid couple weeks maybe close to a month I got a gas I'm gonna stay on the high side for this turn I usually try to because it helps so, and I'm in, so I'm gonna pop it Let's unplug it and sit down. 
that's what it came with, that's what it's staying. So whatever. Right, guys that's gonna wrap it up for this video as you saw I finally got to show you guys just how much smoke this thing could put out uh, it does have like a smoke switch you know I don't know whether it's blocking off the puff limiter or puff eliminator whatever it is but I didn't even use the switch I didn't turn it on but she'll get it she'll roll but either way there's a lot to come up um, I'm getting ready to give Jimmy a little idea here how to drive so I think the next video for you guys will be like a how to shift video then we're gonna do how to downshift that's you know it's too much for one video so we're gonna get into how to shift how to up how to upshift the downshift and then after this, we got the arm model to work on. We got that paint to buff out. My dad's been working on getting the stickers off, so that's that's another thing to come soon. So, like I said, guys, there's plenty to come. So, thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, brother, over here.